Here I want to show you my Nixie clock, which I built as part of a project in my equivalent of high school. Uh, it was actually one of the first electronic projects that I built myself, and as you can see it's got four Nixie tubes. For uh, Russian tubes I put a link to the exact, exact type in the description, and as you can see it's been running for some minutes, so the time is not set up since it started at zero, but I will set it to the current time, which is around 21.45. Oh, and these tubes are one of the cheaply made Russian ones where the 5 digit is actually an inverted 2. As you can see there, the 5 looks a bit strange compared to the other ones. You can turn off the light. You can see the nice glow a bit better. In the video I can see that they are flickering a bit. They don't do this in reality. That's uh, an effect of the multiplexing I used to drive them. Later I read that multiplexing uh, Nixes is not good for them because the VR depends more on the peak current than the average current. Which I have a feeling is true but I did not know this at the time. Uh, and now I will show you uh, um, the alarm function of this clock. I press this button to get into the alarm set mode. So I will set it a um, couple of minutes from now. Ah, that was too. So when the minute rolls over, we'll hear the not so impressive buzzer I built into it. Ah, there it is. A constant tone. So, let's have a look inside. So, at the heart of this uh, is an 18 Mega 8 AVR microcontroller right here. Um, and it's driving the Nixis uh, using multiplexing with these 10 transistors here for digit select and um, 4 transistors here for tube select. And the high voltage I get from using two transformers back to back, so the, it first gets stepped down to 12 volts or something and then stepped up again to around 230 and then rectified here. So it's isolated from the mains at least. The timing source I used in this one is the 50 Hz mains frequency, uh, which I digitize using a comparator here, although I think the, these ones actually have a built-in comparator, but I found it too complicated at the time to use it. Ah, and here there's a, a 1 farad super cap, so it keeps its time if there's a power cut up to a couple of minutes. Of course then the digits don't run, but uh, it keeps its, its time anyway and its alarm setting. And here on the back I built a switch so the high voltage can be turned off. You'll see it will fade out. Yeah, it's already fading out uh, to, to preserve the life the lifetime of the Nixis. What's not so nice about this is the cabinet, of course. Uh, cabinet making is not my strongest skill and I did not allocate enough time when I built this to uh, the design of the cabinet. I never actually used this for long periods unattended because I was always a bit worried about the wood catching fire. Anyway, thanks for watching. 